This time we're hearing from panicked and shaken drivers who saw the I-25 crash as it happened and called for help. Anchor Royal Day just went through the 911 call. She is here with more. Well, Doug and Shelley, this was a horrible crash. It is clear the people who saw it were so scared. And a warning tonight, these are tough calls to listen to. It's Sunday around 2 a.m. People driving on I-25 near the Bernalillo exits start calling in. Hi, there's been an accident. A bus flipped over. A bus flipped over? Yes, full of passengers. Exit. They describe what they're seeing. There's children bleeding. There's people unconscious. They're pulling them out of the bus right now. The bus flipped over. Then a woman frantically gets a hold of Sandoval County Dispatch. She's so upset she can hardly breathe. <laughs> Mom, there's, a, there's, there's like a big crash in the, in the freeway on the I-25. Okay. <laughs> Are you involved right now? <laughs> no, but there's too many. This man says he's pulled over and is walking to the crash. My truck is in the medium, medium, right where the wire cables are. He screams at traffic so those drivers don't crash too. Hey, slow down, slow down, slow down. Other people pass the horrific scene and explain what happened. There's a semi crossover into oncoming traffic. Semi crossover into oncoming traffic? Yeah, he went across the median. I think there was an accident before that and he tried to avoid it. It's a terrifying scene that killed three people and left many others badly hurt. Ma'am? Ma'am? And you can hear just how terrified those callers are. It was really confusing for a lot of them. As you know, there were at least three different vehicles involved in this accident, a car, a bus, and a semi. Shelly?